Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be scratching the surface over SharePoint 2013 site collection creation. We'll create a site collection, we'll work with the getting started or get started a web part that appears on the main page of SharePoint 2013. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just tune in for another minute or so. So I'm in central administration right now and uh, within central administration I'm gonna click on application management click on create site collection we are gonna this is obviously slightly different interface but uh, exactly the same as what you're accustomed to in SharePoint 2010 or even SharePoint 2007 uh, the web application where we're gonna create the site collection and you can change that right here the title of the site collection so this is say uh, marketing we're going to grab this and I'm going to paste it as well under uh, the web address itself. Uh, template selection, we can select uh, SharePoint 2013 or 2010 as the experience version. We can uh, uh, go come back and, and do a SharePoint 2010 uh, just to see how that looks like. Uh, select a template, so this is again exactly the same as before. And then primary site collection administrator again exactly the same as before as a matter of fact everything's gonna be exactly the same as before SharePoint admin and we'll go ahead and click OK the only thing that's gonna be different obviously is slight change on the interface and then when the site collection gets created we're gonna see the getting started web part which is uh, totally new uh, the working on it sorry to keep you waiting that's okay you don't need to apologize but I kinda like that so uh, SharePoint is working on creating a site collection for me right now. It's kind of cool. Okay, and it's done. Let me browse to the marketing site. Here's the marketing site. Here's what I'm talking about. This is the get started with your site. And right next to it, there is a remove this. If you click on remove this, what you've removed is a web part on the home page. So you can go and add that web part back to the home page uh, by just simply inserting a web part. Can't remember where exactly it is, uh, but if you start navigating through the web parts gallery, it's somewhere in there and it's called getting started web part or it has the phrase getting started in it. Uh, share your site. This is where you come in here and give people access to the site. So let's share it with our administrator make him a member of the owners group so we'll come in here and say test administrator found the individual and we'll drop him in the owners group of this marketing site collection we'll share already shared with him so he can now log in and start leveraging SharePoint 2013 working on a deadline you can click on this basically to create a task or a calendar event uh, or entry and that's going to be displayed right here on the main page add lists libraries and, and apps a list and a library are now apps so if you want to add a list or a library you come in here and there's a bunch of these apps that come out of the box because they used to be lists and libraries but now they're called apps you can review the details of it but you'll notice here the mentality, the concept of it. There's going to be a store where we can have a lot more applications. Microsoft is going to ship some of them. Uh, third parties are going to ship some of them. And we're going to come here and we're going to kind of subscribe to them and we manage the licenses and things like that. We're just going to create a default app. We're going to create a document library, say uh, doc lib app, and create this. So again, you could do that immediately as soon as you, the site gets created. You can come in here and kind of get going with that. I really like this. I'm gonna actually think dedicate a, a, a video just on on these different uh, themes. But I can come in here and preview the themes. It's like, it's like a web web based uh, web design kind of interface uh, where you see the preview of uh, of all these themes like WordPress as well. So I'm gonna come come in here and select this and say yeah, let's try this out. So this is gonna be the theme going forward. Try it out again. I like the working on it. Uh, super interactive and then yes let's keep it I, I really like it or I could have started again so now we've got this going and, uh, and this is kinda the theme 
kind of like it and then you can come in here and brand it say uh, give it a you know plug in a logo description this is for you guys this is not this if and then the logo you can insert the logo in here and some more stuff and again you know this is all in there it's just that it's it's faster to get to right here from the screen the way to get to uh, the site settings and I'll leave you guys with this uh, you need to be uh, let's go back to the site we need to be on the site content link notice there's no site actions I can't get to site settings in order to get to site settings you need to click on site actions on the right hand side you'll see workflow settings and recycle bin settings is exactly what you're accustomed to so these are all the settings there may be some extra links in here like site app app permissions and things like that but this is what we're accustomed to again to get to it you need to be on the site contents link this concludes this video hopefully this was helpful thanks for tuning in